Hi everyone, today we're going to do grammar on page 1 to 5, unit 10 in your English download textbook. Reported speech, statements, questions, commands, and requests. Reported statements and questions. We use reported speech to tell someone what another person said. Kita guna reported speech untuk memberitahu seseorang apa orang lain cakap. We use reporting verbs such as say and tell. Kita guna reporting verbs seperti say dan tell. Cakap dan bagi tahu. The main verb usually moves back one tense into the past. Itu main verb akan jadi past. For example, Sally said I speak Dutch. Sally kata saya cakap bahasa Dutch. The reported speech is Sally told me that she spoke Dutch. Speak ialah main verb dalam present tense, tetapi dalam reported speech dia jadi past tense. Spoke. Reported verb yang digunakan ialah tell. The past tense told. Ted said I've been to Asia. Ted kata saya pernah pergi ke Asia. The reported speech is Ted said that he had been to Asia. Have been ialah main verb dalam present perfect tense, tapi dalam reported speech jadi past perfect tense. That dalam kurangan sini maksudnya boleh pakai, tidak payah pakai pun boleh. When we report what someone said, we change the following. Personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, possessive adjectives, etc. Time, words, and phrases, other words such as this, that, here, there, come, go, etc. Apabila kita lapor apa orang cakap, kita tukar benda-benda ini. For example, Omar said, I respect your beliefs. Omar kata, saya hormat kepercayaan awak. The reported speech is, Omar said that he respected my beliefs. So the personal pronoun here is I, dalam reported speech jadi he. Possessive pronoun your, tukar jadi my. I said I'll text you tonight. Saya kata saya akan text awak malam ini. The reported speech is, I said that I would text her that night. So tonight, tukar jadi that night. Pam said, this is my map. Pam kata ini peta saya. The reported speech is, Pam said that that was her map. So this, tukar jadi that. So contoh-contoh ayat tadi ialah reported statement. When we report a question, the verb is not in question form. Apabila kita lapor soalan, verb bukan dalam bentuk soalan. It is the same as in statements. Sama juga macam statements yang contoh-contoh tadi sebelum ini. We often use the reporting verb ask. Dan kita akan guna reporting verb ask, tanya. For example, when is Joe coming back, I ask. Bilakah Joe akan balik, saya tanya. The reported speech or question is, I ask when Joe was coming back. Is jadi was dan reporting verb di sini ialah ask. When the direct question begins with a question word, it is used in the reported question. Kalau direct question dimulakan dengan question word, kita akan pakai balik itu question word. For example, where is Wells? Kim ask. Di mana Wells? Kim tanya. The reported speech is, Kim ask where Wells was. Dalam direct question tadi dia pakai where, so reported speech atau question pun guna balik itu where. When the direct question does not use a question word, the reported question uses if or whether. Kalau dalam direct question tidak guna question word, reported question dia guna is atau whether, jika atau sama ada. For example, is Chan Chinese? He asked me. Adakah Chan berbangsa Cina? Dia tanya saya. Reported question dia ialah, he asked me if or whether Chan was Chinese. So is, tukar pergi was, dan kita guna if atau whether. Reported commands and requests. We use tell to report commands and ask to report questions. Kita guna tell untuk melaporkan arahan dan ask untuk melaporkan permintaan. We use an object for both. Kita guna object untuk kedua-duanya. For example, wait here, he said to me. Tunggu sini, dia kata pada saya. So the reported command is, he told me to wait there. So the reported verb yang digunakan sini ialah tell, told dalam past tense, dan me is the object. Please help me, he said to us. Tolong saya, dia kata pada kami. The reported request is, he asked us to help him. Ini adalah permintaan, so reported verb yang digunakan ialah ask. And us is the object. When we report commands and requests, we change the imperative to a full infinitive. Apabila kita melaporkan arahan dan permintaan, kita ubah itu imperative menjadi full infinitive. For example, Come in, he said to his visitor. Masuk, dia kata pada pelawatnya. The reported command here is, He told his visitor to come in. Dalam direct command, Come in is the imperative. Tapi dalam reported command, Dia ubah menjadi full infinitive, to come in. Remember, full infinitive yang ada to di depan. Please don't touch that, he said to me. Tolong jangan sentuh itu, dia kata pada saya. The reporter request here is, she asked me not to touch that. Please don't touch ialah imperative dalam bentuk negative. So dalam reporter request jadi not to touch. Now let's look at this sentence. Don't leave the country, the officer said to me. Jangan tinggalkan negara ini, pegawai itu kata pada saya. How do we write the reported speech? The officer told me not to leave the country. Ayat ini adalah satu arahan, reported command, so kita guna reported verb tell, past tense, told. 
apa perubahan yang kita buat di sini? Kita ganti imperative don't live menjadi full infinitive not to live. And this is a negative imperative. That's why kita tambah not. Now let's look at the question here. Exercise 3. Rewrite the following in reported speech in your notebook. So di sini kamu perlu salin balik ini ayat menjadi reported speech. For example, number 1. We may have Chinese food tonight, they said. Reported speech dia ialah, They said that they might have Chinese food that night. We, tukar jadi they, may, tukar jadi might, dan tonight, tukar jadi that night. Now let's go through all the other questions. 2. Can you help me with my project on UNESCO, please? She said. Adakah anda boleh bantu saya dalam projek UNESCO saya? Dia kata. 3. Have you heard of this civilization? Said the student to the teacher. Adakah anda pernah dengar tentang masyarakat ini? Kata pelajar kepada guru. 4. Africa is here on the map, the teacher said. Africa terletak di sini dalam peta, guru itu kata. 5. Don't touch that statue, the guard said to me. Jangan sentuh patung itu, pengawal itu kata pada saya. 6. What is the capital city of Australia, he said. Apakah ibu kota Australia, dia kata. 7. We're going to learn about Machu Picchu today, Mr. Jones said. Kita akan belajar tentang Machu Picchu hari ini, Mr. Jones kata. 8. I'll visit Stonehenge tomorrow, she said. Saya akan lawat Stonehenge esok, dia kata. 9. Put your camera away, she said to Guy. Simpan kamera anda, dia kata pada Guy. 10. I was reading about the pyramids, I said. Saya sedang membaca tentang piramid, saya kata. So, kamu kena kenal pasti dulu ayat-ayat ini. Sama ada ia statement, kenyataan, question, soalan, command, arahan, request, permintaan. Rujuk muka surat 173 dan 174 untuk lihat apa yang kamu perlu ubah. For example, tonight jadi that night. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.